Uh, an Australian national has alleged assault by a group of uh, men. Uh, he says he, he was assaulted for having a tattoo. Now, no case has been filed, but uh, what we're understanding is uh, that the Australian national was asked uh, to write an apology letter. That day, we had gone, my sister and I, we had gone to Konark. Uh, it was about 4.30, I think. We went for a coffee, and then uh, our, our car wasn't able to get in because there was a huge crowd in the compound, and uh, there was a hoysala van. And uh, then I saw this young couple, they were uh, apparently foreigners and uh, the girl, there was that girl, they, she was surrounded by 25 men who were raving, you know, and shouting. And then there was this young boy and he was so frazzled, you know, he was so terrified. And uh, I could understand, you know, what it is to be in a foreign country and to be hauled up by the police. He couldn't understand the local language. He didn't know where they were coming from, what the people were trying to say. And uh, before anybody could say anything, this boy was hustled into the van and the van took off. And then afterwards I saw, I saw uh, he looked like a politician, you know, he was wearing the politician garb, white linen. And uh, he was holding forth and he had a, an audience for about 25 people, you know. And there were a lot of freelance golfers there, all uh, nodding their heads to him. And uh, he was, apparently his Hindu sensibilities were offended. And then I found out that this boy had a tattoo. And apparently the tattoo on his shin, the tattoo apparently was not even done in India. It was done in Australia. So this uh, politician was holding forth saying that his Hindu sensibilities were offended and it was one of a god or goddess and it was on a shin and what did he, how dare he do that. And I realized at that point that somebody had to intervene because I, I had a feeling that this young couple were not going to be given a very good treatment at the police station also. So then I spoke to my sister then I said no it's time we do something about it. And so I called up uh, somebody I know at the media and, uh, and I found out that they were being taken to Ashoknagar police station. So I told the person to go to Ashoknagar police station and I think uh, that is how the news uh, leaked. Because I'm a Hindu and, uh, and uh, certainly my uh, sensibilities were not offended when I, so when I heard about that. See, he is a foreigner and uh, because I have faith in a particular god. A goddess doesn't mean that he is entitled to it. Of course, we, once we are in another country, we need to respect their sensibilities. Definitely, I go with that. But this was something that was already done earlier. And I didn't think that we had to take, him, take them to task like that in front of a mob really which was growing wilder. It was brought to our notice that a foreign national, he was abused as well as uh, harassed uh, by certain uh, people and after that even uh, the police uh, rather the local uh, police rather than going to their help they were uh, supportive of uh, the people and uh, in turn they almost forced the uh, foreign national to submit an apology uh, to that uh, crowd so as soon as we got to know about this incident we have already initiated an inquiry into the matter by an acp rank officer and the investigation and the inquiry is currently going on uh, but uh, from the preliminary inquiry what uh, appears to have happened is that this foreign national was sitting in a hotel uh, while having lunch at that time certain other people also sitting in that hotel have observed one uh, tattoo which was there on his leg uh, a tattoo of one of the goddesses so for which they had objected and at that time there was some kind of an argument on which the police uh, got to know about this and they have reached the place now after that uh, what has happened regarding that the inquiry is going on as alleged uh, by the foreign national if uh, there was any kind of an abuse and uh, harassment by the crowd as well as by the uh, local police so definitely the Bangalore city police will take that matter very seriously